How do animals in the ocean touch or feel? We have hands and fingers so we can touch. But what about the animals in the ocean? What do they use? Many of us have seen sea stars before and even had a chance to touch them. But have you really taken a good look at them before? Here's an ochre star. Let's take a closer look and see what we can find. As we zoom in, we can see different parts of their body. The fuzzy part are called dermal gills and that helps them in gas exchange. The large white spot is the spine and that's what we often feel when we touch them. And this smaller part is called a pedicellaria. The pedicellaria is actually a tiny pincher. If something small touches the star, the pedicellaria will remove it. This is a red sea urchin and you may have touched one before. If you did, did you see the spine squeeze your finger? Most people will call this a sea urchin hug. Well, it's not actually a hug. The spines and the two feet are using its mechanoreceptors to respond to your touch. The urchin is touching you in response to see if you are food, a predator, or a different type of object. This is a sea anemone. It looks like it has slimy and sticky tentacles. Well, the truth is, it isn't actually very slimy. The tentacles have a harpoon-like structure called a nematocyst. When touched, the nematocyst will fire in an attempt to catch its prey. It will then use some of its other senses to determine if it is a predator or prey. Let's dive in and take a look at fish. Let's see how fish feel and respond to touch. Fish have evolved with scales that provide protection and reduce water turbulence. Along with the scaly layers comes a glycoprotein slime coat that covers their entire body. This slime layer makes it difficult for predators to grasp them and harder for parasites to attach to their body. If you look along the sides of some species of fish, you can see a distinct line running from their head to their tail. This line gives fish a sense of touch like no other. Often referred to as a sense of distant touch, fish can feel something directly touching them, but they can also sense movement in the water that is near them. This line that runs along their body is called a lateral line that has specialized organs called neuromasts. The neuromasts have the same sensory cells that can be found in all vertebrate ears, but fish use them to detect differences in water pressure, water direction, and water movement. The lateral line system allows fish to gain a sense of their own movement as well as movement around them. By using their lateral line, this allows fish to school together, sense their surroundings, and sense predators or prey nearby. Let's take a moment to watch our mackerel swim together as a group. You can see as one fish moves, they all move. They're using their lateral lines to school together. This helps protect them from the predators and proves that there is in fact safety in numbers. Sharks are indeed a type of fish, and they do have scales like most other fish, but they lack the slime coat like the fish we previously saw. This is because they have modified scales called dermal denticles. Dermal meaning skin, and denticles meaning teeth. If you ever touch a shark, run your finger from its head down to its tail. It will feel smooth. If you run your finger from its tail to its head, it will feel rough, like sandpaper. Their scales are pointed backwards to give them this rough texture. Now that we learned how animals in the ocean respond to touch and how they feel, it's time to go have some more fish adventures. Thanks for watching. Bye.